Okay, can everybody hear me? <coughs> Excuse me. Let me know if you can hear me and see the slide, Kathy. Okay, great. Okay, you're starting about a minute early, but that's okay. Oh, okay. I welcome you to Online Trader Central. Melissa, you can <laughs> take it away. The sound is... <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, and welcome. Thanks for being here this evening. It is Monday, November 12th, and we're getting into the end of the year. So this is a good topic for tonight because I'm going to talk about how you can earn a living day trading. So some of you have been day trading already. Some of you have never day traded before. It doesn't matter. When you're getting into the end of the year and you're starting to think about your New Year's resolutions for 2019, it's hard to believe. Uh, we're almost at 2019. You know, you may be thinking about what did I do right this year? What do I wish I wouldn't have done this year? Mistakes I made, things I did well. Am I happy with my current career? Do I want to change jobs? So this is a good time to kind of reevaluate because you have about a month and a half to decide before January 1 if you want to trade, okay? And I always encourage people, you know what, the sooner you, you jump into the market, the better it is because everyone has a learning curve. Everyone that I've ever taught has a learning curve. Even people that have traded for 30 years that come to me have a learning curve about my specific strategy. Now, if you're here and you wanna type a question in, see where I just wrote hi, you can just write it in the room, okay? And I will answer the question and say it out loud, okay? So welcome, let's get going here. How can you earn 400 a year day trading stocks? And is that even possible, all right? This is me, if any of you have seen me before, you know I appear on Fox News and Fox Business Network and a few other channels too. However, I started the Stock Swoosh about six years ago and started trading 10 years ago. So it's been a long time coming for me to get to this point where uh, I've really just you know, when I get up in the morning and when I look at the market, and today's an example because the market gapped down today and fell, where I'm just in sync with what's happening. And we'll talk about that a little bit more here tonight and we have a chance we'll look at the market. So if you'd like more information about what I do, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com or call me at 929-3200-GAP. And you can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Skype. So if, have you ever thought about day trading for a living? Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Maybe you've thought about it, but not seriously. So I've talked to a lot of people in the six years since I've had the swoosh, and some people are serious, some people are looky loose. And I think you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and be honest with yourself, even if you don't wanna be with me and say, am I serious about doing this, or am I just kind of sort of casually looking into trading? I've gotta be honest with you. If you wanna be successful, you must be serious. You will not be successful. In fact, you will lose if you are casual about the idea of trading. Because the market is something that a lot of people attempt to trade, a lot of people attempt to do, a lot of people wanna be successful at. Why? Because of the fact that there's unlimited amount of money that you can make in the market and the only limitation is you, okay? So the more serious you are about it, guess what? The more money you're gonna make. Of course, you have to have the proper education. It's good if you have a mentor, which I am for people, and we'll talk about that a little bit more here as we get along this evening. So there are many, many types of traders, okay? But we're focusing today on day trading. That's what this webinar is about. If you have been trading in the past, you know that there's different kinds of traders, swing traders, day traders, part-time, full-time, options traders. Think about that as I'm talking here tonight. What what would you, how would you describe yourself? What kind of trader are you? And also, what can you really afford to risk per trade? And I'm not talking about risking the farm. I don't suggest anyone ever do that. I don't care if you're the best trader in the world, you should not risk the farm in any trade. I'm talking about normal, normal where you can sleep at night if a trade does not work out. You have to be realistic with yourself and you have to be normal. And I'm saying that with the assumption that you know what I mean by normal, but normal is not stressed out, okay? So think about the amount of money that you can afford to risk where you're not gonna be stressed out, all right? And also, what size account can you open? Again, not stressed out. 
it's important for you to know which category you fit into as a trader and also to set the proper expectations for yourself. Before you even begin, though, to risk any money in the market at all, you should have a strategy that you follow, which we're going to talk about tonight, how you can make this kind of money. And then we're going to go over a trade from last week. And again, having a mentor is helpful. I don't think it's required. There's plenty of people out there that are successful trading that don't have mentors, but I'm telling you it's easier. It's easier if you have one. All right, it's just gonna shorten the load for you and, uh, and make it easier, okay? So if you are thinking about doing this, I'll tell you right now, the strategy I trade is called gaps. If you've never heard of me before, and I'm gonna talk about that here in a little bit. But gaps typically set up in the morning. They can happen at night, they can happen in the post-market, they can happen in the pre-market. And I'm looking for setups to take the trade within the first 30 minutes, preferably, of the day maybe the first 60 minutes, but really the first 30 minutes of the day is when I'm looking to get in something. If I don't see something, then I'm not getting in it usually. I prefer to be done trading by 10, 15, 10, 30 Eastern time. Okay, I'm in New York. Now, a lot of people come to me and they go over what they want to achieve, the amount of money they have, their goals, what they want to do. And I say to yourself, be realistic with your goals. If you're realistic with your goals and the amount of time that you want to achieve them, then you can do it. If you're completely unrealistic, then guess what? You're probably not going to achieve your goals. Now, what, what would be an example of that? There's a lot of companies out there that teach different trading methods or styles. Some people don't really teach strategies. They just teach you kind of how to look at the market, read candlesticks, read different indicators. I don't do that. I'm teaching you a specific strategy that I created. Yes, it's based on gaps. Yes, you've heard of gaps before. However, I teach people a 26 point rating system, which is mine, okay, which is I created myself about 10 years ago. And so if you have these goals and you want to achieve these goals, more power to you. I have goals. I have dreams. I'm constantly working towards them myself personally, many, many different things. However, you have to be realistic with them. And the problem is that a lot of people want to believe that it's possible to make 400 grand a year or 100 grand a year or any money at all with extremely unrealistic expectations. And so I try to be completely upfront with people with the expectations. If your expectation is that you're going to open up an account with $500 and make $100,000 in three months or even in a, an entire year, I'm telling you right now that cannot be done and it is completely unrealistic. So you have to start from a place where you are in, in touch with yourself and in touch with the reality, in touch with your dreams, but also in touch with the reality and know that you can achieve your dreams as big as they are, but the timing of them may vary according to whatever your expectations are. So you must be realistic with them. So you must look at the amount of money that you have and where you can start today and how are you going to grow that money to reach your goal if your goal is in fact to become a professional day trader to support yourself to make 400 grand a year or any money at all okay so many people start this journey and they are unrealistic and, and then what happens next is emotionally and this you know this tugs at people's heartstrings they get depressed they get sad they get angry even okay angry at anyone angry at the market angry at stocks which have no feelings at all, they get upset feeling betrayed. The fact is the market can provide for you any income that you desire, but you must understand how to trade it and you must also have realistic expectations within that. So even though we're talking about how you can earn a lot of money tonight, guess what? You're still going to have to risk a good amount to earn that money. And guess what? If you don't have it, you can risk less. And guess what? You can still profit. Whatever amount of money you have, if you know how to trade, you can profit, whether it's small, medium, or large. And I have a lot more videos actually on YouTube that you can go and look about uh, tonight if you have time after the webinar. So getting back to what I was saying, I'm trying to look at that first part of the day. I'm in that morning period and I work from home. So you could be anywhere in the world and trade. You don't have to be in New York. That's a nice thing about trading. You do not have to actually go to Wall Street, sign in every day, go through the security system, go through the whole shebang, which is quite a process now ever since 9-11 to get into uh, the New York Stock Exchange. If you've ever been down there, I've been down there a few times, but you can do it from home. 
as long as you have a brokerage account where you can trade, actively day trade stocks, specifically short, and have an internet connection, you can do this, okay? And you have to have charts. Now here's an example of a chart. Some of you have traded, some of you haven't. Just so you know, CTRP is a stock, it's a stock symbol. We trade a different symbol almost every day in my trading room. This here is a daily chart, so you can set up any time you want. Weekly, monthly, daily, 15 minute, okay? This was a really nice gap from last week, and I'm gonna explain in a minute to you what a gap is. However, I wanna point out that it had some follow through. So it had really nice follow through here. So a gap is the difference between the close and the open. So this stock closed here, and then it opened here. So here was one day, here is a completely separate day. Here is the 7th of November. Here is the morning of the 8th. Then we have the 9th. And then we have today, which is Monday. So when you get up in the morning, if you want to learn my method, you're looking every day trying to find the best stock to trade. One stock, one ticker symbol, preferably. Now, does that mean that I always do one thing every day? No. Some days I end up having to do two. Why? Because maybe I watch three things and two don't set up. One sets up. Maybe one sets up and fails. So I'm very focused though on one or two things. And a lot of people that trade the market over trade. I close the trading room out in the morning, usually by 10.30 in the morning Eastern time. And for the most part, I only want to do one thing a day. In other words, if I took a morning trade right out of the gate, say I'm getting in something right away, it's 9.35, 9.40, 9.45, market opens at 9.30 if you don't know it. Say I get in it, I take it, I'm in, I'm up, boom, I'm out, okay? In an ideal world, most trades that I would take, I'm in and out very, very quickly. Now, this happened to be one that went longer. I'm gonna go over this example. It's not that I'll kill something. If I'm up, if it's taking longer, but if I have to go somewhere, if I have to be on TV, then I will exit the trade. And if you have to go somewhere, do something, then you can exit it too. It's the idea that you have the choice. But if something's going and I'm, you know, don't have anything to do, if I'm not on TV, if I have no commitments, then I will stay and let a trade play out. Okay. But the reason I'm showing you this is because I want you to see something called selling. Okay. It's selling action. Now, for example, <laughs> this stock, I don't know the exact close here. I'm not going to pull it up, but it was 34 something. You can see here that on the day that the stock gapped down, it opened at 30 something. So without being completely 100% exact, it gapped down and dropped $4 plus. And you may say, well, that's, mm, that's a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit, maybe it's a lot. But guess what? If you own that stock, it's not a little bit. It's actually a lot, okay? Because for example, you might have, let's just say you have 2,000 shares of it. And let's say you bought the stock at the day before. Say you bought it right at the day before and you bought it right at $34 and you have 2,000 shares. Guess what? If you get it up in the morning and that stock is down, you're down $4 times Actually, I'm going to write this in the room. Four dollars times two thousand shares equals what? And let's—I'm just going to make this super duper, super duper easy. And 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 say this is a cash account, and say this is not a margin account, just to make it easy. Can anyone answer that mathematical equation question right there? And this is again assuming no buying power. <clears throat> I'm quizzing you. If nobody knows, I'll answer it. But if you can get your brain working, it might it might help you learn something here. If you're in something and you get up in the morning, you own 2,000 shares and you have a cash account and it's not on margin and you're in it overnight and guess what? It's down $4. What would you be down? No one has any guesses? Come on, 
one. There's a lot of people here. No one has any idea. Anyone? Galahad, Tom, Silver Doc. There's people here I don't know. If, if this is simple mathematics, people, four times four dollars times two thousand. Pretend this is you. It's a horrible situation, but if this was you. Erwin, I just saw you sign in there. Gosh, I haven't heard, I haven't seen you in a hundred million years. If you own this stock at 34 and you got up in the morning, you had a cash account, it was at 30 and you were down $4 and you had 2,000 shares, how much cash would you be down? Pretend the broker sends you a little notice and gives you a call and you have what's called a margin call or just a call. Your account's negative. Pretend your account is negative. Pretend you have a cash account and it's negative. Galahad, are you here? How much money would you be down? I'm quizzing you people, but somebody's got to know the answer to this here tonight. Kathy. Wow, this is really easy. There, Galahad just gave me the answer. Congratulations, Galahad gets a round of applause. Okay, there we have Silver Doc answered, Erwin answered, Canty answered. Maybe there's some kind of delay with Hotcom because all of a sudden I see answers. Phew, I was a little bit concerned. All right, everybody got it right. Phew, I was quite concerned there. So $4 times 1,000 is 4,000. So $4 times 2,000 would be 8,000. It's $8,000. So if you were long this stock, you would be down $8,000. And you would have two choices. You could send the money to the broker. The broker could allow you to hold the position if you sent the money right away and probably wired it in that second, the second that they contacted you. Or maybe they wouldn't even give you the chance to do that. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. The broker might just kill the position, take all the money you have left in the account, and then request you to send the difference, whatever it would be. So this is what happens to people, people, all right? And so therefore, you have to know what is created is something called panic, okay? Anyways, let's look at the trade. So if you have people you know, obviously, let's hope that was not you. Let's hope you didn't have 2,000 shares of it and you didn't lose $8,000. Let's say you just looked at this as a normal trade. You day trade. You don't do swing trades. You would never get caught in something like that. But somebody else you know did, and people do. So then you take the trade here in the day trade in CTRP, and you get up in the morning, you rate the gap. And this graph rated as a gap per my system to actually short. And when you short a stock, guess what? You're shorting selling action. Now you can short selling action or you can short shorting action. However, in this case here with CTRP, guess what? It was both. And it, the reason I can tell that is because you can see the follow through and continuation. The stock dropped for three days. So you could have done a put, you could have day traded every single day, and you also could have done a swing trade, in which case you would have shorted the stock as a swing trade. So let's just go back and talk about the very first day in here. Stock dropped, fell, boom. You could have played this here short. Okay. Then it followed through the next day. So this is four o'clock Eastern time. Boom. Get up in the morning. You can rate this gap and it's 930 AM. This is a 15 minute chart. Stock drops, falls literally all day. And I'm going to go back here because this is a daily chart. This was the first day. This is the second day I'm talking about with a trade. And then the third day was today. Usually I will tell you that the biggest, biggest, biggest moves though do happen the first day. I mean, that's just a sidebar there, but it is true. Occasionally, something will have a secondary large move, which this did, but it was a baby move today. I, 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 I got to be honest with you, this even looks slower now. Three days down, it still looks slower. <clears throat> Anyways, here was the trade. Entry was, first of all, I rated it in the morning, 23 points. That's a good rating. Per my system, it's 26 points. Then you would short it, short it at 2710 with 4,000 shares. Now this is an advanced risk because we're talking about making an advanced amount of money. Again, you can cut it back, but what you can afford is what you should be risking. 
there was an ad where you would take more size, you double your position at 27 and two, it's like taking two trades in one. Price of this then, you pulled your price down slightly, 2706, quantity of the shares 8,000, and then the exit was really nice here, more than a buck. And again, this trade did take several hours. Not that you would have had to hold it. You could have taken this trade and been out quick in a move, but this was one where we were discussing this in the trading room and Friday, and I was available to trade in Friday. I was not on TV, and I felt that close to 26 was a number. I didn't know if it would get exactly 26. I was thinking 26.20, 26.25, 26.00. But as the day went on, the market was falling. It was very obvious it was going to get to 26. This actually, I think the low in the day was 25.70 something. I have to go back to look, but this was a really nice exit in here. And profit in this trade was what? $8,960. Now, what if you took half this? You still would have made over four grand. What if you took a quarter of this? You still would have made over two grand. So you can see here that getting the right stock symbol, the pick, is key in order to be successful trading. And obviously you have to get in the right direction. If you went long CTRP, you lost. All right. So the reading system, which is what I teach in my class, tells me and gives me 100% conviction to know what stock to trade, number one, and number two, whether to go long or short it. And this stock rated very high. And you can see here what happened. And the example I used, I could have made up a different example. I could have made up 100 different examples. But I made my point, and those of you that answered got what I was trying to say, I hope, okay? A lot of times you have to think through these things intellectually, and many, many, many people that trade do not actually use common sense to trade or think through things intellectually. They think they're being smarter than a normal person when they're looking at Fibonacci's or indicators or all these kinds of fancy dancy things in their chart that make them feel smart and important, but they're missing on the real basic thing that actually makes them intelligent, which is reading price action, which is reading buying and selling and knowing when it's going to come in. Now this stock very well could have flipped. What do I mean? The stock gap down here, again, I don't know the exact amount, but it was approximately $30 if it came into the support. The stock could have rallied and filled the gap, but it didn't do that. And how did I know that it wouldn't do that? To know to short the stock, because I have a system where I'm looking at something called institutional selling for shorts or institutional buying for going long. So I never, ever, ever go long a stock, which this was a short, but I never go long a stock unless it is institutional buying coming into it. I never short a stock unless it is institutional selling coming into it. And I predict that in the pre-market in the gap. Now, all of this, you may understand some of it. You may understand none of it. You may understand everything I'm saying. The point is, if you get the stock in the right direction, you can make money. And that is the key to success. If you have everything set up ahead of time, knowing, knowing what you're looking for, knowing what you're trying to do, and you take it with size on the open, I'm never doing anything in the pre-market. I'm not in anything in the post-market and I'm not trading the pre-market. And when you look at it, you could have said, well, you missed four bucks. Yeah, that's true. This is the drop off, but I don't trade that drop off. Okay, I wait, wait to the open, wait to 9.30, wait to see where it opens, wait. Any questions? Uh, what was I else was I going to say? Okay, so what kind of a trading account do you need and how much money to, do you need to do it? You know, you can trade retail trading accounts and prop. Retail, you require 25000 minimum to actively day trade to go long and go short. You must have more than 25000 in order to take trades. If you have less than that, they'll shut you off and you have to refund the account. You can also do something called prop. Prop accounts are all over the place. If you want a referral, you can ask me. You can open up accounts with $500, although I don't recommend it. I think that's too too small amount of money. I would say go to a place where you can open up an account with at least $2,500. You will get 10 to 1 leverage, which is $25,000, and you are in and out quick in the morning and done. But you don't need $25,000 to trade. You need a minimum, really, in my mind, of $2,500, although there are places that say you could trade with $500. I would not recommend going to a place like that, and that's just personal opinion that's not like the rule it's not the system anywhere that you can go that you can actively day trade and 
particularly short stocks, you can trade by method. Now you can also do it for options and we'll talk about that more at the end. But these are not cash positions. So when I say you're going to, I'm gonna make this easy. When I say you're, gonna, you're going to buy a stock that's worth $100 per share, and say you're gonna do 1,000, that doesn't mean you need 100 grand cash. There's something when you day trade, whether you do proper retail, called margin. It's buying power margin, and you get a different amount at every place you go. At a retail place, it's four to one, typically. If you're carrying overnight, it's two to one, and a prop place of 10 to one, or maybe 20 to one, okay? You must get out of your trades by four o'clock Eastern time, which we always do, unless you're in an option, which is not a margin account. But when you are a day trader, just so you know, you don't need that cash. It's not like you're gonna get mailed in the mail a stock certificate that says you have 8,000 shares of CTRP. It doesn't work like that. And if you've never traded before, you don't understand this, so I'm trying to explain this to the new people. It's day trading is not investing. You're not Warren Buffett. You're not buying the stock shares and you need the cash and then you get the certificate in the mail. You're actively in, out, in, out, in, out. And that's why you have to have a set type of account, which is called a margin account, to be able to actively trade in and out like that. And if you don't understand this, this is something very detailed, but any broker really can explain this to you. But know that you can trade with less than 25 grand. Most of the people that are out there that are actively trading, actually trading something called proprietary day trading accounts. And they can have, they might have $10,000 in the account, they might have 20, but they have 10 to one margin. So when you're at a retail place, you only get four to one margin. There's pros and cons to both, okay? What would be the difference? Platform fees, commissions, all right? But one of the things I recommend to people is to follow a mentor so you don't struggle. And you can trade on your own. You absolutely can. You will learn everything in my class to trade alone. And some people that have done my class are trading alone. If you prefer that, do it. If you feel like you want support on a daily basis, then definitely being in my live trading room is significant. I call the trades live, the entries, the stop, the exits. I write the ratings in the room every morning, the things that I'm watching, and we do it. So, uh, you know, the room has had a very strong year this year in 2018, and I choked in the room and I said, be a monkey, which is to follow me to the letter. Some people do, some people don't. I think I'm easy to follow because I typically look at one thing at a time. Not that I'll never do two trades at a time, but it is so rare. It's so rare that it might happen twice a year, okay? So you really should, if you're brand, brand new, make sure that you understand what you're doing by following a mentor who is willing to help you. And I definitely think it's important. And one of the benefits of going to a proprietary day trading account versus a retail account is you're going to get so much better service. You're going to get so much more self, um, you know, you're going you're gonna to get more quality service at a prop place because they're really trying to keep you as a client, whereas retail places sometimes are so big they they just it's like a, it's almost like a machine the way some of those retail places are run and, and it's unfortunate <clears throat> any questions you can write it in the room as we're going along here anyways getting an education first i think is very important before you trade and makes sense but a lot of people don't do that in fact i had a conversation with a gentleman over the weekend he talked to me about the class in september and he lost half his account by last week and he didn't do the class he decided not to do the class he traded alone he didn't do the class and he lost half his account and now i don't know what he's going to do and now he feels worried about spending money for education because he lost half his trading account he had 20 grand in account he lost 10 in a month trading alone now he's got 10 grand left and my class is six i don't know if he's going to do it or not but the guy's probably going to lose all of his money if he doesn't learn what to do. So I know it sounds like common sense to get education before you trade, but unfortunately a lot of people don't. And so it's very, very common for people to trade, think they can follow in trading rooms, jumping around from thing to thing to thing in free trials or paying for month to month from here or there, and they never make money, they never know what to do, and they end up slowly bleeding what money they have. Now, I don't think that man slowly bled the money. I mean, he lost 10 grand in a month, which is significant. 
So, you know, it's it's a kind of thing where it, it, it just makes common sense, but I don't know why. People just think they can just follow somebody else and do it. So if you want to come to my trading room this week, you can. The room is closed today. It's open Tuesday through Friday. You can come for a trial. But no one's allowed to join my room unless you learn the class. I want committed people. I understand that people have to understand the strategy, know what to do before they trade. And, you know, to me, that's common sense. But unfortunately, a lot of people fail in the market because they just take pot shots at stuff. And it's it's the kind of thing where if you if you fall off a cliff mentally and financially, but actually the mental, the mental falling off the cliff is actually could be more detrimental to you than even the financial because you can always make money doing something else, your job, whatever. The mental drop off the cliff that people have when they trade and lose and don't know what they're doing is so devastating to them that it's very hard for people to come back or at least to come back quickly. So the best thing you can do for yourself is start out well, start on the ground one, Start on a positive note and keep that momentum going because once you fall off a cliff mentally and emotionally and financially, it's tougher for you to work yourself back up again. And I'm talking about with your relationship with the market. This isn't about me. This is about your own relationship with the market. I have a relationship with the market. I have for the last 10 years. My relationship with the market has gotten stronger. It's gotten better. Everything that I'm doing, every second that I'm breathing is helping my relationship with the market. And actually, I've been on television this year on a major cable news network in 2018, and that has strengthened my relationship with the market. I've never read the market better than I have this year. I've never called better trades than I have this year. So as time goes on, your relationship with the market should get stronger and better. And as it does, guess what? You should be able to make more money. But if you don't nurture that relationship, if you don't take care of that relationship, it's like a, it's like a real relationship. You have a person or a marriage. Your relationship with the market is important and you need to nurture it and take care of it. And if you don't, if you don't give a crap about it, guess what? It's going to give it to you back the exact same way that you give it to it in a negative space. So you don't want to be in that negative space with the market. You want to be in a positive space. Does that make sense? Any questions from anyone? See a couple of people here that signed in late. <clears throat> Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, why do people find day trading so hard? Well, lots and lots of reasons, but one is a lack of focus. One is a lack of clarity. Traders are often second guessing themselves. You need conviction to trade well, and you also need conviction to make money, and, and not just a lot of money, I mean any money. Okay, whether it's 40 grand a month, whether it's two grand a month, you have to have conviction, and the conviction comes from the knowledge because without that, you'll never be successful. Otherwise, you're taking pot shots, like I just said. So, knowledge is the key to conviction, and conviction allows you to take the risk and be successful and feel relaxing your choices instead of being stressed. Do not get stressed out. It is so important not to get stressed out. In fact, I lecture Galahad that about that all the time. Don't stress yourself out. If you're stressed holding a trade, guess what? If you're in the trade and you're stressed about it, get out of it. If you're up a little, you're down a little, kill it. Don't stress yourself out. It is just not worth it. It's detrimental to your relationship, as I was just saying, with the market. Because then the relationship itself becomes very tedious and very stressful and not fun. It's like if you were going to go on a date with someone that you totally were into and you were really into that person, you would look forward to it. You'd be happy, your emotions, your feeling, your body, everything would be amazing. If you were going on a date with someone that mm, you didn't really like that much, you didn't really wanna go, or, or you felt like you had to impress the person so much that you were being fake and phony and and you just didn't feel like there was a connection. You you really wouldn't want to do it. You'd be stressed out. You wouldn't be relaxing. You wouldn't be yourself. And it wouldn't be any fun. And you probably wouldn't be any fun to be around either. So you, you and your highest self, the you that you want to be is a person that is relaxed, centered, okay, and not stressed out. And part of that has to do with risking the amount of money that you're comfortable with and knowing what you're talking about and knowing what you're doing. All right. Now, getting back to what we're discussing about day trading, there's no overnight risk in day trading. That's a positive. Okay, so if the market goes crazy, if Trump tweets or if something happens with China tariffs, you don't have to worry about it. All right. You're always in control of your money, which means the total position you can take can be much larger since you're in control at all time, and you get in and you can get out. 
Again, you're trading on margin. You put a stop in, you're in, you're out. You're in, you're out. You're out before four o'clock. And in many, many days, we're out before 10, 10, 15. But the returns when you day trade can be incredible. And actually, when you think about the annual returns are very high, if you look at it based on percentages, I typically do not discuss day trading based on percentages because the numbers sound so crazy. And I don't really look at anything, even in a chart based on percentages, unless I'm looking at selling or buying, which occasionally I discuss when I say something's done a retracement. But all in all, this is not investing. You're looking for a move. So if you risk a dollar, you're looking to make a dollar. If you risk 50 cents, you're looking to make 50 cents. If you risk $500, you're looking to make $500. That's it. You're chunking it out every day. In 30 minutes in an hour or in something like CTRP, you could continue to hold it if it keeps dropping. I'm not going to count that against you. All right. But day trading is not investing. And so many people, they just they don't get the concept. And so many people don't get the concept of shorting. And if you're new to shorting, I'm a great person to learn from because I'm an expert in shorting. And that's one of the reasons I've read the market well. Why? Because the market's been strong. So when I see a drop up in the market, I say, eh, that's not really anything that big of a deal because I really know what weakness looks like because I'm used to shorting for the last 10 years. Okay, I'm an expert person at shorting. Now, don't mistake me. It's not that I'll never go long in my life. I'm saying that I prefer to short and we usually do short. And I'm an expert in shorting, but sometimes we will go long, okay? In fact, we've, we've gone long the market a few times in the last month. But when you trade, you're in, you're out. Fast moves, boom, 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 boom. And, and literally, that's what it is. You're looking for the daily money move to get in and get out. So if you want to make 400 grand a year, it's about 33 grand a month, which translates to about 8,300 a week. And that last trade was pretty much the goal for the week, even though there were other trades. And it was a, it was a long week last week. Okay, now this week is a short week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I do think this could be a good week to short. Why? I think we have the market with us this week, but I guess we'll see tomorrow morning where we got. But if your goal is to make money day trading or make a living day trading or make six figures a year day trading, which some people need, some people don't, it's not impossible. However, it is impossible if you don't know what to do and you don't have the right education and you don't have any conviction, which you're never gonna get if you don't understand what the heck you're doing. If you're just mimicking, mimicking somebody else, you're not gonna get it. And that's why the class is vital for people to understand it. And you may not know what I mean, but you will after you take it, the difference. The difference in the, and the feeling and the conviction, okay? Any questions so far? Think of this as something where you're chunking it out and you're climbing up the ladder where you're starting out where you can. If you can start at risking an advanced risk, go for it right after the class to earn this kind of money. If you start out with a small account, then start out, build it, build it, build it. Chunk it, chunk it, chunk it. $50, $100, $200, $250, $250. whatever it takes. If you look at it like that, at least you're getting somewhere. So many people are not getting anywhere with their lives. Once you do the class, guess what? Even before you even take that first trade, you're getting somewhere. Why? Because you learn something that a lot of people don't know. You have a new perspective on looking at charts if you've traded and used technical analysis before or you've looked at gaps. And the very interesting thing is to me, since I've gotten out in the world, I've been talking to so many people. Do you have any idea how many people do not, first of all, know what a gap is. Secondly, they don't understand what a gap is correctly. So, and I'm telling you this, and I am telling you this, and this is true. If you learn what I know about gaps, you will be in the cream of the crop of very few people on this planet Earth that understand how to read a chart in the market. Any questions? Now, let's get into this. So, Again, the amount you risk depends on the size of your account. If you take a dollar stop, which sometimes we do, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, okay? A thousand shares, you risk a buck, guess what? If it goes a dollar, you make a thousand dollars and so on and so forth. So we don't know though. We don't know until the stock sets up what the stop is. In the case of CTRP, actually, that was a really, really good stop okay initially it was only 40 cents and that was amazing okay sometimes we get smaller ones many days we get bigger ones but that was a huge trade and a huge move because the stop was so good 
Any questions here? If for some reason you cannot day trade and be in the room in the morning, guess what? You can trade options. If you don't know how to trade options, you can learn. You risk the amount of the cost of the position and you may have to take it overnight. Now, you're, you're not at risk though because of the fact that you are only risking what you have risk of the position. So don't risk more than you can afford. So if you risk $500, you can't lose more than that. It's not like a swing trade, but if you risk 500, you could lose the whole amount. But if you risk 500 and you hold it overnight, it could potentially go to a bigger move. And I'm just going to go over one of those moves here. This is the diamonds. Okay. This is the Dow ETF at, this is way back September running up beginning of October. We had a nice move up in the market. The diamonds made the Dow made brand new all time highs almost got to 27,000 and I called and this didn't even get to the strike. That's what the amazing thing about options is. I called this train expiring 1012, strike 270, and never got there. Then I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna show you this, it got to 269 and change. So when you get something running up into the momentum, into the momentum, the momentum is up, you can make money doing options. This isn't fancy dancy stuff, okay? This is just a simple boom, boom. You buy the put, you buy the call, and you take it. You don't have to be in the training room for this, you get the email of the trade you take it when you get it and you watch the trade so this was profitable and it didn't even get to the strike as long as you're getting momentum similar to day trading because we, we get out of trades and now i know that one went to the target the ctrp it did go to 26 i know it did but that trade was profitable before it got to 26 so do you know what i'm saying you can get a profitable trade even if it doesn't go to the target all right it's about getting it in the right direction, which means going long if it's getting bought or shorting it if it's getting sold off, okay? Anyways, this one was a good one. Option price was 40 cents, was dirt cheap. If you bought 10 contracts, guess what? You would have paid four, $400, sale price 110, and profit 700 bucks, okay? So this was a nice one in here, return investment 175%. It doesn't matter if you took a small risk, a medium risk, or a beginner risk. But I did want to also show an advanced risk here, risking 4,000, you could have made seven grand with 175% return investment. You will get trades like this with the option letter. This is a separate letter, or you can be in the room and do some of the room trades as options if you don't want to actively day trade with a margin account. And again, if you do not understand this, ask me questions now or email me or call me later. I'm, I'm trying to give a lot of information in this webinar and, and I might be talking above some of you, but if you don't ask me questions, I don't know but you can email me or call me later if you don't understand something. So we talked about two different things, options, and we talked about day trading. You can day trade options, but options don't require margin. Day trading does. All right, we got a question from Diane in Australia. Options, no, the, it's, just the, it's just the letter. I do have an options class I'm doing in December, but you don't, you don't learn how to pick the stock. You're going to learn how to manage the trades in the December options class if you want to do it. And you're going to learn how to look for the targets and take the trades, but it doesn't give you the pick. In other words, if you want to get this trade here, you've got to sign up for the options letter, which is a letter. If you want to, if you want to know how I figured this out, what even happened, looking at the chart, you do the Golden Gap class. And if you want to do the options class, you'll learn how to manage the trades, take the trades, look at targets and get in and out. That's a mini half day course in December. The Golden Gap is a two day full course, which will help you determine if the stock's a long or short. You can play it any way you want, swing, day, or option. The letter, you just get the trains and you manage them yourself. And the options class, you're gonna learn how to manage them, how to look at them, how to get in, how to get out, and what to do with them if you're on the letter. Or you can take them yourself, but you're not gonna get the picks in that class or how to find the picks. The picks is really the Golden Gap class, which is the rating system. In fact, Galahad, you can, you can put, Galahad, if you're here still, are you there? Yeah, you're there. Put, plop something in the room tonight. If anything's gapping tonight, I'll take a look at it here before we go. If you're serious about doing options, I'd sign up for the letter. It's for a year, Diane. If you want to really learn the system and day trade, then do the Golden Gap class and get in the room. So I, you know, everybody has a different thing. I have a guy, he is on the options letter. Okay, he's an Uber driver. I forget where he lives. I think Atlanta. Um, he just can't be in the room every day. I mean, it's just, it's just not possible. He's on the road. But he has an app on his phone, and he can take options trades. 
So, you know, he signed up for the letter because he can do this thing, that thing, drive in the Uber car, do whatever, and he can take the trade. He can look at the stock price. He can get in and get it out. He doesn't have to be in the room. He can't be in the room. You know, he can do the class, but he can't be in the room. So he signed up for the letter. So whatever your schedule is, if you can be in the trading room between 9.30 and 10, that's what you need to do to get the day trades. If you can, if you absolutely cannot, this doesn't work out for you, then the option letter is probably the best thing for you. Gal had said nothing stands out tonight. All right, well, that's fine. I think the market gap's down tomorrow, though. We'll look at the market before we close tonight. Uh, where was I here? Anyways, options are a way to make money if you can't be in the trading room. And that's what I tell people if you just cannot but if you're in the room, you know, I'm saying I'm looking at this, I'm looking at that, I'm looking at the diamonds. I mean, you know, I know there's people in the room that do not want to take a day trade in the spy. <laughs> I know that they don't want to do it. So they do the option. They don't want to pay 200 and blah, blah, blah. So they buy the option. They're not telling me, but I know that they are. And sometimes I'm doing the equity trade and I know they're doing the option. So, you know. Uh, I don't have a specific platform that I'm married to. I say go with a broker that you want to be with for the pricing, for the commissions, and for the pricing of the platform costs, and that you like the charts, and the amount of money you have to put deposit. And then you learn it. I mean, I've been on a million different platforms, from Sterling uh, to, God, to Orbish, to what was that other one, Dots? I mean, I've been on so many over the last 10 years, if, if in an ideal world, I'd create my own, can't he? Because I gotta be honest with you, there's not one thing out there that I think this is perfect. There just isn't. So I can't get behind and I don't sell any specific platform or place, to be honest with you at all. So, you know, I, I'd love to say, oh, this is the best thing since sliced bread, go there, and, but it isn't. Maybe someday I'll create my own. And, and, and if I do, it'll be very, very slanted towards technical analysis traders, which some of them have certain aspects and some of them just don't. If you have something that has good charts, that you can see the day chart, the pre-market data, the post-market data, the one-minute chart, then that's good enough. You need to be able to see the pre-market data and the post-market data. And if you have something for futures, I'm certain that you can. I'm certain that you can and you can make them with any background I like the white background anyways if you want to do this you absolutely can work for yourself it's a matter of commitment okay you could be days away from it or you could be years off from it I, a lot of people I find just they want to trade the alert into the market but they're very much like that gentleman that I discussed with you who just he's he's on the fence but yet he's trading actively and he's not fully committed to learn, but then he's trading and then he's losing money and then he finds himself in a funk. And I hope that gentleman pulls himself out of the funk because I mean, what you don't want to do is kind of dip your toe into the water and then sink in the quicksand. And I think that's what a lot of people do because the market can be like that. You can make money as fast as you lost it though. If you've lost money in the market, you can make it back like it is split as soon as you learn what to do. So don't even be worried about that. If you've lost the past and you've seen failure, guess what? As soon as you learn how to trade well, you can be on the path to financial freedom just like that. It doesn't have to take forever. You have to chunk it out. Not every day will be big. Not every day will you make it grand. Not every day will you make a thousand. Some days it's small. Some days, guess what? You won't do anything at all. And I'm going to post results for November on the YouTube tonight if you want to go watch the video. But I'm telling you, some days we didn't trade. Some days there's nothing to do. And that is what it is. You have to understand this isn't like a normal job, but the benefits of that are, guess what? You get to work from home and you don't have to report to a boss and you can earn as much money as you want to. And you don't have to work for eight, 10 hours a day. So the idea of working for yourself has pros and cons. If you look at con as something where some days you might not have to work, all right? It is very important to understand the market and it's very important to understand that you have to be committed to doing this if you want success. So I focus on one strategy one strategy daily. You can work from home. Again, we're usually in and out of the morning. I'm going to try to be very aware of that this week and next week because we're going into the holiday. And although the market fell all day into the close today, I don't know if we fall all day tomorrow. I think we're down tomorrow too. But it is just 
hugely beneficial when we are done and in and out in an hour. And those are my most favorite days. Even though I do like making days like Friday, you know, where you have these huge days, it, it, it is just less stressful. Getting back to the less stressful, it's less stressful. If I can get in, out, in, out, in, out, even if it's only two grand, the fact that I could get in and out is, is so, it's, it's, it's just better. But again, it has to go with your schedule. It has to go with your personality, whether you do options or day trading. But you have to think about the benefits, what you're willing to risk to get there and to do it. Nobody ever got rich by not putting forth any effort or any cost. And if you in your mind think that you're going to do something crazy and silly, like I talked about at the beginning of the lecture tonight, that you're going to take a $500 account and you're going to make a hundred grand in three months or a year or even ever be able to take an account and make that kind of money with that starter account. It's just ridiculous because many people just don't understand what it takes. You take it and you chunk it and you chunk it and you chunk it. It's like taking 25 steps forward and you take five back. Then you take three steps forward and then you take one back. Then you take 15 steps forward and you take three back. And that is really the process. And that's why people say it's a journey, but it's not a straight line. It goes ziggity zaggity. But while the ziggity zaggity is going, guess what? You're, you're moving up. So the ziggity zaggity is you're still proceeding and you're still moving forward from the initial starting point, okay? Um, Kanti is saying he has access to that info. I don't know if it's a he or a she. I'm sorry, Kanti. I don't know that name. But yes, that's good. Any other questions here? So nothing to look at tonight. I'm just going to finish up the lecture here. Think about what I said. You can train for a living. You'll learn my system. It's a 26-point rating system. You learn how to find which stock to trade in the day, whether long or short, but I focus on the shorts. It has a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, most of the times, like CTRP if you want to hold it or do a swing trade. Early confirmation of the bias is essential, essential for me to even want to do it at all. And the precise entries, because I'm doing it in the one-minute chart for good risk-reward potential, and that is my specialty. I'm taking trades early, early in the morning, quick, on the one-minute chart, but I'm analyzing it on the daily, okay, because we are – in nimble day traders okay we're not investors Didi wants to know one thing Melissa when you grow up, will you be as good as me first of all Didi you're already grown up you're already a hundred percent grown up so don't worry about that part of it you have that down and Didi you're very serious so I think you have a huge chance to be as successful as me yes of course you're taking it seriously you did the class you are doing the demo then you're going to start small before you get big you want to learn it it's the most important thing to you but ask me a lot of questions yes you know the benefit of doing the class and while you're paying me the money for the information is one you're paying me for the information and two it's shortening the learning curve for you because it took me about three years to create my system dd and it was very emotionally taxing i'm a strong strong lady but I, if I rewind it in my life, I would never want to repeat that period of my life in 2008 and 2009. So, you know, and as much as I hear people, which is funny because I hear people talk to me, and Dee Dee, you weren't one of those people because you never traded before, but I've heard people talk to me about their experiences and their life and things they've gone through, and they go on and on and on, and I can listen. I can listen all day long to people talk about them. But at that moment in my life, I didn't have anyone that was willing to listen to me when I was going through it. So it was tough. It was a tough road. And that's why I'm telling you, if you have someone that's a mentor to you, it can, be, it can be an enormous help because that person will listen to you and give you guidance and also give you positive feedback. Now, I had my mom and dad. My mom and dad were very supportive of me. But my mom and dad didn't understand a thing about trading. And at one point, my dad was like, okay, this is getting crazy, Melissa. Like, just stop this already i mean it really my mom was the champion in the end because my mom never told me to quit my dad at one point really thought it was just time to pack it in and i still hadn't figured it all out then <laughs> i mean i don't even remember what year that was if it was 2008 2009 2010 i don't even remember but my dad was very frustrated with the with the process i was going through but my mom stood by me so you know but they didn't know anything about the market 
I know a lot about the market, so I'm here to be your champion to explain to you because I've been through this process and I understand that you may go through a process too. But the idea is that you'll learn and do and do the class and be in the training room and take the light trades to shorten the learning curve for you, shorten the process. Maybe you won't have a learning curve at all. That deity, you're so new that I know you've had a learning curve, but I gotta be honest with you, you've asked me good questions. So I can tell by the questions that you're asking me, Didi, that you actually do understand a lot. Even though you may not realize that you do, I can tell by the questions that you do. Um, Canty is a she, okay. Canty, I am doing an early access Black Friday because the class is back to back with Thanksgiving week. The class is this weekend, Monday and I mean, uh, Saturday and Sunday that you would get one year free in the trading room if you sign up for the class this weekend by Friday and doing early access for Black Friday. Normally you would pay to be in the room, but if you did the class this weekend, you would get the room free for one year. I am taping the webinar, Diane. I know it's you're in a different time zone, but Diane, I'm doing one free year in the room too for you because I know you've been interested in it. Again, I don't know your new schedule with your new job here with the hours being in Australia. <laughs> in fact, what is it, 20, 22 hours? Are you 22 hours ahead or something? I know, I know it's a big, big time zone jump. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, be consistent with whatever you do and use stops. I didn't talk about that a lot tonight. Maybe we'll talk about that more next time, how I put a stop in. It's a limit order stop, but that's important so that when you lose in a trade, it's done and you're out and the losses don't go against you big. Anyways, my class is called the Golden Gap System. It's a 26-point professional bearish gap rating system. The purpose of this system is to help you evaluate which gap you trade each morning using a checklist. I created a system myself, and I'm very proud of it, even 10 years later. And the reason that I'm proud of it is because even today, in 2018, when I began trading in 2008, many, many trading educational companies out there teach a varied amount of different strategies and systems, and none of them are really very good at one thing. They teach a whole gamut of this thing, that thing, and the other, and they're not specifically focused on one thing. This is all I do, it's all I ever will do, and it's all that I need. And it's taken me to the point where I've actually been able to evaluate the market extremely well to get me on television. So I'm telling you that once you learn how to do this, you will become very good at being able to predict price action movements and anything that trades in the US stock market or anything that gaps. Forex is different because it only has one gap a week. So I don't advise using it for that because it's not beneficial enough to trade it on a regular basis. But anything that has a close and an open where you're rating the gap in a chart, you can predict the level that it's going to go, whether up or down, okay? And I do like shorts. And the reason I like shorts is just because they move faster. You can still make money going long every day of your life if you find a good gap. But shorts just move so fast. And today is a good example of that in the market. But one strategy is honestly all you need. I do not recommend jumping around. I do not recommend doing multiple different strategies. And I don't even think anyone should combine what you learned from me with anything else. Okay. You do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money. Tons of people do that and they fail all the time. You don't have to be some kind of expert where you're talking about all these specific fundamental things that doesn't mean anything at all. What you need to make money is all that counts. And if you know that a stock is trading at $56 and it is going to go to $55 in the next 15 minutes and you can predict it a move like that, which is a buck, and you can take 5,000 shares and it moves down a dollar and make five grand, that is all you need. That's the only purpose of this. You are not changing the world if you want to become a day trader. This is not something where you're going to stand up on a podium and you're going to say that I am an amazing person because I've helped people in the world by trading this stock. Training allows you to make money. The smartest people win. And with that money, you can do something better with your life where maybe then you lecture and you help people on other topics or do other things to actually help the world. This is not something where you're going to stand up in front of a crowd and say anything other than you're really smart at reading a chart at what you do. The great thing about trading is that you can make money. And with that money, you will have more freedom with your life. And you can do other things with your life and your time for people that you care about and love or make a difference in the world. One of the reasons that I like trading gaps is I can do it in the morning early and be done. And I can do other things with my life. I can do whatever I want to do with my life. One of the things I'm choosing to do is to be on TV and to teach people. But I'm sure I'll choose other things in the future as well. 
If I had children, I'd be spending my time in the day and the afternoon with them. And I'd have time to go pick them up from school and do other things with them in the evening. When you have a job and you are chained to your desk eight to 10 hours a day or five to seven days a week, you don't have a choice by anyone else if you report to somebody else and they're your boss and you make a salary. This is something that you can be proud that you're making money to support yourself and your family to do other things with your life. It's not like you're gonna win the Nobel Prize if you trade and make money from the market. It is what it is. It's exactly like the Wall Street movie. There's only one winner. Whenever you make money, there's somebody else on the other side of the table that's losing. So guess what? Align yourself with people that know what they're talking about and align yourself with the people that are brilliant because you're never going to win and you're never going to make money consistently over the long haul if you're with the, with the dumbasses. And I say this and it's true. Let me just see if there's any questions. I know we're right up against the time. Good luck to you tonight, though. You can trade from home. You can be anywhere in the world. Diane is in Australia. Um, the Golden Gap class, it's this weekend. And Diane, write it in blood. <laughs> write it in blood. Or Didi, I'm sorry. Because I know Didi asked about the, about the class. November 17th, 18th, and 19th. And the reason I'm doing the 19th is because some people particularly the Jewish faith and some other religious activities cannot participate on Saturday classes. So I'm doing this. I haven't done it all year. So this is the one class this year. If you happen to have a religious conflict or a Saturday conflict, Saturday will be day one. Sunday will be day two. And then Monday will be day one. So it's okay to break it up that way because one day is the entries and one is a strategy. If you want to do it and you do have a Saturday conflict with work or religion, please know that I rarely do this. It's like, I don't even think I did this in 2017 at all, but I had people that were interested that signed up and paid that want to get in. Okay. Nine to five Eastern time cost of the class is 59.99 US dollars. If you want to sign up, you must email me for the forms. The new website has not launched with the cart. Once the new site's up, you can just sign in and log in and pay. Uh, but you'll email me for the forms, forms. If you want to sign up, the class is online. Now, as I was saying earlier, I have the combo. You can do the trends class and the Golden Gap trends is in December. The early bird for Black Friday I'm doing because it's so close to Black Friday of this class. So you can sign up Friday, do the class in November, or do the class in December. It's December 15th is the December class. But if you want to get in this weekend, you can join and you can start trading and then you'll be in because December 15th is in the middle of December. And then this way you do the class and you can join and start trading from now until the next month and you won't miss any more of the trades in the room. And the December class is really for people geared up that really are probably not going to start trading till like January 1. All right. If you want to try with the room, email me at melissa.thestockswish.com. Good to see some of the old timers here. Good to see some students. Good to see... Some of you people have found me forever. I don't know what you're waiting for. I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> Any questions from anyone at all? Very good. I will see everyone soon. I will air the video tonight. Go on to YouTube. I'll put the stats for the last month as well and the last year. I worked on that today too. If you want to try out of the room, email me. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I think the market drops. Some, at some point tomorrow, either in the gap or falls. Hopefully, we'll get a good week. Kathy, go ahead. You can email me. Sorry, I didn't know if you were a girl or a guy, but now I know. Okie doke. Have a good night, everyone. You're welcome.